Watch how he closes up the manly line with his footwork. Dance, 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 dummy, dummy, dummy. Bing, got you all. Closed up the manly line, then found him out with a long ball on the Kino replay. Absolute brilliance. And excellent finishing as well from young Elijah Taylor, played in the Toyota Cup triumph last year. Look at the footwork here. He gets on the outside thanks to the pass from his halfback, and he's able to beat a despairing dive from Steve Maddai. And that's about as much emotion as you get out of Ivan Cleary. So you know he's pleased with that. Well, he knows the kick's important, and, and, and this is a big, big, big kick. A big kick. He's wide out. He didn't hit the other one too well at all. But somehow he's got to steady the nerves and give this one good kick. James Maloney. 25 out, almost on the touch line, and he's just pushed it away again. Andrew John sideline. Yeah, sit back and enjoy this again from Sean Johnson. This is classic halfback play. Firstly, the short ball, and then the double up play. Play for play, the long ball to Elijah Taylor. That's how the great halves play. Play one side, have a little look, and then get your hands on the ball again. Engage defenders and free your outside men up. What a player this young guy is. Yeah, go, go onto YouTube and type in the name Sean Johnson and watch him doing that, playing touch football. I think it's at about 300,000 hits. The particular footage but you'll see him doing that at 15 years of age now he does it on the game's biggest stage on its biggest day madalino is back in the game and not here he got a ball away and it's with ohio who goes over to mannering and simon mannering playing the ball inside the 40 meter line 18 to 10 michael Rock who gets the ball away ohio not quite sure where to go tackled in the middle of the ground played by the warriors and they've gone to mateo and he's 40 away from the manly line now nullavow the tackler johnson again waving players around him there he goes with the long ball to the right side again mannering is on the end of it stands and unloads mateo no look here's taylor again and taylor is tackled 25 metres out from the Manly line. Five tackles gone against the Warriors. As it comes long and it bounces a few times before Luck picks it up. It's gone to Johnson. Johnson puts a kick in. He regathers and he's taken down. Got the ball away. Brown has got the ball. They go for the corner. Vardave. Vardave gets the ball away to Brown. He puts a kick in. Terry Evans will try and get back into the field of play. But he doesn't. <laughs> Indescribable football. <laughs> wow. Oh, what happened there? I, look, it's taken my breath away. It's an awful pass from dummy half. Takes everything out of play. It, it just puts a full stop on it. Sean Johnson kicks three gathers before the line. This pass and that pass, incredible. Manu Vatavai one on one. And then to Lewis Brown. Kicks it through the legs of Cherry Evans. <laughs> and the chase is back on the inside. They pants him and then they keep him there. How good's that? Stay behind. How good run. is that? Manu with a no-look pass. Brown with a grubber kick. Pulls the Dax down. Ah, how good's that? No court in the shorts there, Rabbits. 18 to 10 in favour of Manly. But the Warriors coming down the hill and fast they're storming home madalino will play the ball 22 meters out from the line to the right side for michael luck and here's lillyman with a strong charge just outside eight minutes to go here's johnson he turns it back it's gone to ground manly have got it jamie Lyon. He'll play it on the 20 metre line. Big, Papawadi runs. Big, big play there from Jamie Lyon. Monstrous play to come up with that scramble. A fantastic fight back by the Warriors. Just when this game appeared gone, and it possibly is gone, but they've certainly given us some wonderful entertainment in this fight back, and what more can't get up this time. No, his, his side will 
take a breather here. What about the head cuts out there? We, we saw Mad Eye, Tupo, Jamie Lyons got some blood up there, Kieran Foran. So James Maloney. Eighty-one thousand nine hundred and eighty-eight here to watch the grand final today. That's the sixth biggest crowd at this stadium with this uh, assembly of the stadium or configuration, as we were. It's the sixth biggest crowd ever, just short of eighty-two thousand people. That's the last tackle now. Jerry Evans kicks straight down. We'll find Sean Johnson. No, in fact, Kevin Lock. I'm sorry. And uh, Foran came up out of the line, and Locke eventually was tackled by Glenn Stewart. Johnson dummy half, Maloney looking for the gap. And James Maloney will play it back to Lance Hohala. And here is Michael Locke, who's racked up 38 tackles in the game. Mannering 36, Locke 38. Lilliman with another strong charge. And he'll play the ball a few metres into Manley's side of play. That's his 14th carry. Now it is with Matteo, and he's inside the 30-metre line. So Felitti plays the ball. It's come from Brown. Here's Johnson. He kicks. Are they onside? Robertson's underneath it. Oh, he knew flies above them. Flick passes out the back. Picked up by Maloney. Lays it on the ground. It went forward. Picked up by Williams for Manley, and he'll turn it over and give it to Manley anyway. Well, the pass from Inu went aimlessly along the ground, but had it hit the mark, Manley was short in defence, and the Sea Eagles just hanging on for dear life. What a comeback by the Warriors. Cherry Evan, Glenn Stewart. Marvellous game from both of those players. And this man, Jamie Lyon. This is where experience starts to count. Jamie Lyon diving on that loose ball. The biggest play of the grand final in the second half. And Glenn Stewart just starting to take some control. They'll get into a kicking position now. Drive it deep into the corner. Clock's on their side. Played by Morrow. Cherry Evans uh, giving an inside pass to Glenn Stewart. And he'll play the ball on the 40-metre line. Des Hasler. Riding them every inch of the way. And uh, the kick down the ground goes dead. Well, it was deliberate. Yeah, he just kicked that towards Lidcombe. He said, let's get it down there as far as I can. Kick that, kick that. And he sappied it. Well, Des wasn't particularly impressed, maybe, but that's backing your defence. That's saying, OK, we'll give you 20 metres, but we think defensively we're good enough to stop you going the other 80. Play by Rapira. Mannering carries the football. Almost to the 40-metre line. Ohio goes back to Madalino, who goes over to Matteo. And Matteo to play the ball. Seven or eight metres on his own side of halfway. It's Madalino with the ball again. They roll him over and put him on his back and basically tell him when to play the ball. Maloney, Maloney shaping to pass. Tackled on the 30-metre line now. Big kick coming up here. So that is Taylor, a dummy half. It was Johnson, he shaped a kick, he passed. Madalino in front of Matteo, Matteo to lock, lock, lock with this blinding turn of speed. And Zadave, he passes off the ground. Matteo flops the ball down and Dallin, Dallin go, drops on the go. ball for Manley. Jesus. Just have a look at Manley. They're on their knees, on their hip, on their haunches. Brett Stewart. Desperately trying to get out of their own end. Robertson for Hopperwati. Well, at the moment, the difference in the game is that brilliant play just before half-time of Glenn Stewart. If, if Manly only lead by the four points at half-time, we're just about locked up at this stage. Play by Glenn Stewart. The kick from Cherry Evans is big again. And taken by Locke. Back in the shadows of the goalposts. He passes for Chris Maninu, who dances away, loses the ball, and it's with Williams for Manley now. The clock showing about three and a quarter minutes of time. Yeah, that should be it. 
Zero. Ballon for Mora. Manly. Now can almost start the celebrations of their eighth premiership title. It's come over to Glenn Stewart. He dummied in. He went out and Lyons was the ball. For Jamie to play the ball, the captain. The co-captain. Jason King, unfortunately, not in the game. And here is Lyon, a dummy, and he goes for the line. But the Warriors, with pride in guarding that line, force him back. Hopawati's pass is wild. It's with Moro now. And he'll play at 18 metres out from the line. Two and a half minutes of the grand final to go. And here's Foran, who dabs it in. Oh, oh. and he's passed the ball forward in Four goal. passing your own in goal. It's a goal line dropout. And it's a goal line dropout. Well, you can't be offside in your own in goal, but you can't deliberately throw the ball forward. So this is an interesting ruling from, from Tony Archer. Well, it's a mute point now because Manly, Manly fans can start celebrating. The 2011 Premiership is going to the Peninsula with the Manly Sea Eagles. And it's uh, with Cherry Evans. It's been a spirited second half fight back by the Warriors, but you cannot deny Manly this success this afternoon. Kite, who won the Churchill in 2008. Who's going to take it tonight? Might just have one more try in the man. They just uh, Warriors have been valiant, but not much left in the tank. You wouldn't think. Glenn Stewart, he gets it away for JD Lyon to score in the shadows of full time. The captain, JD Lyon, scores for the Eagles, and no one more deserving. Jamie Lyon has had an outstanding season. Got a lot of centre three quarters and captains of their club, and I know Jason King has been his co-captain, but he has an enormous influence from a little bit wider down that right-hand side. And I know that the likes of Cherry Evans and Kieran Foran will, will tell of the influence of the number three. And it's beautifully played here. Kieran Foran out to Glenn Stewart, who's been magnificent, attracts two defenders and puts line into a gap. Nice line running there from line. And the man out the back helped him as well because it, it attracted the defenders. But Jamie Lyon reaching out to finish the 2011 season. Here comes the coach. Here comes the coach. He's coming down to claim government. Des Hasler wins his second as a coach. And two as a player, so it's four grand finals for Des Hasler, who's been at the Manly Club. That's Jason King. The injured co-captain, Des has been there for more than a quarter of a century. The siren sounds and Manly have won the grand hey, final. Hey, 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 they've got to have a shot for goal. No, you're going to worry, you're going to worry, they're all on the field. It's up to you. You want to do it? No, it doesn't matter. They're going to turn down the kick at goal because the, same, mate. The, the celebrations have already begun. No, Michael Robertson in his final game for Manly is going to have the, the honour of trying to put one over to to finish his career. They asked him if he wanted to take the kick. He said, yeah, of yeah. course I do. Started at Canberra, finished at Manly, he takes the shot, and he's got it! Michael Robertson leaves Manly in the best possible way. He wins another grand final. He didn't score three tries today, but he kicked the final goal. Manly has won their eighth premiership. The final pass of the grand final was given by Glenn Stewart, who performed one of the most brilliant things I've seen from a back rower just in front of halftime. And that may well have been the turning point in the game. We'll even take that out of his performance this afternoon, Ray. I thought he was head and shoulders the best player in this game. Clive Churchill medal winner will be announced later on. Chosen by Bob Fulton, Bob McCarthy, Des Morrison, Alan Smith. But let's go down.